Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square. This is one of those sit back and relax videos. Grab your coffee, your tea, your favorite drink, sit back and relax while I go through the six sets of crochet hooks I just bought. All right, so what I plan on doing is showing you each of the six sets I got. I'll show you what came in the set, how much it cost, and I'll tell you what some of the reviews on Amazon said about it. And then I will crochet a little bit of the um, sweater that I'm working on, which is the same one we're doing in our crochet along and how to read a crochet pattern tutorial. I'll put the link up if you wanna join us. We're just getting started. So um, I think it should be a good project and a lot of fun. All right, so let's start with this first set. Now, the reason I bought this set was because when I was shopping for hooks on Amazon, this one popped up and it said, you can get it for $7 and change. I, it might have been $7.24, I can't remember. It's currently selling for $9.89, but I was like, well, let me see what I can get for $7 and change. So this is the CTCWSH crochet hook set, and it's made in China. And take a look at what we get here okay so we get some stitch markers and yarn needles it looks like there's three metal yarn needles I like the metal ones okay so let's see what we got here three different size yarn needles and two four six eight ten stitch markers those are the additional things addition, in addition to the hooks. And then the hooks, they come in sizes 2.0 millimeter all the way up to six millimeter. Okay, so let's first talk about the reviews for these hooks and what some of the complaints were. The first complaint was that there is glue at the base of the hook that's messy. So let's just look at the base of the hook here. That doesn't look so bad. And I always keep in mind that it could have been one bad set. It does look a little bit messy there. I guess it depends on whether or not that glue um, catches my stitches and also, you know, does, does the hook come out eventually? I don't know. Okay, um, a little bit of messiness, but it doesn't look so bad from what I can see. The next uh, complaint was that the number on the, the size of the hook rubs off. And I saw a picture of it and it was clearly rubbed off. This is not molded, it's just printed on there. So I could see how when you're holding your hook, particularly the way I hold it, how that would rub off. My hand would be on that all the time. I'm a knife holder, so um, you know, take that into consideration when I'm talking about how I like to crochet. It may be totally different for you if you hold like a pencil. Okay, so as you guys know, oh, let's see. And then the last one was that the gauge of the hooks, check the gauge, they may not be correct. Well, let's compare to my tried and true. We'll take a six millimeter and we'll compare it to my clover, which everybody knows is my favorite hook so far, but that may change today, who knows, right? So here's my clover and here's this hook. The first thing I notice is my clover, the metal piece is shorter. Also, the taper is less. This gets pretty narrow here and I wonder what happens up here if I'm pulling tight, do I get a smaller stitch? Maybe that will mess with my gauge. Um, also, this is a brushed metal, very smooth. This is not quite as smooth. I can tell you that just from feeling it, but we'll see if it makes a difference when I crochet. If I turn to the side, I like in the clover that I get this point on the top. I have less of one here, it's more rounded. I find this helps me get into stitches, especially if they're tight. And also, just the angle of the hook seems a little bit 
different to me. As far as the length of the handle goes, this one's much longer. So when I hold my clover, it kind of rests in my hand right there. I find that comfortable. This is going to extend beyond my hand. I don't have huge hands, I have pretty small hands. So again, you know, keep that in mind. Let's try crocheting. I'm gonna crochet on the uh, crochet along that we're doing now. I'm using oh, a 4.5 millimeter hook for this. So let me get the correct hook. Okay, so I'm just going to continue crocheting my sweater here. It's a simple V-stitch pattern. Hmm, interesting. Doesn't seem to be slipping quite as easily as I'm used to. Okay, so I do feel it catching the yarn a little bit in spots. Mm. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, if you wanted a set that you didn't have to worry about to take on vacation with you and you didn't want to spend a lot of money, you could certainly get by using this set. It doesn't have the slip that I'm used to with my clover but it does work. You can see there. I don't know if my stitch looks any smaller. I don't recommend, by the way, switching hooks in the middle of your project. <laughs> I'm doing it, but when you're working your project, stick with the same hook to keep it consistent. Okay, so, you know, this is like a eh, middle of the road for me if I want to set that I don't have to worry about losing or you know, something like that, but not the slip. I'm not a big fan of the way the handle fits in my hand. I have a feeling this is going to start to rub here. I'm going to rub off the numbers. So, okay. So the next set. Now this next set came when I was reading the reviews about this last set I got. And one of the reviews said that set was not good but if you want an inexpensive set that is good, try this set. And it's by Conant. And it's a 12 piece crochet hook set and all that comes in it is the hooks. And I believe it was $9.99, let me just check. Yeah, it was $9.99. Oh, the other thing I did wanna tell you about this first set, which I'll tell you for each of the set was the Amazon review numbers. So for this first set, it got a 4.6 stars out of 358 reviews, okay? So this Conant set got a 4.7 stars out of 760 reviews. It's 9.99. You get 12 crochet hooks, sizes 2.0, ouch. And be careful of the staple on the top. I just poked myself. The packaging leaves a little bit to be desired. Okay. Uh, 2.0 to 8.0. So you get a nice range of hooks. Let me take these out so we can look at them more closely. Okay, so let's look at these. So the for this set, the hooks are the same color as the handles. The hooks are metal, you can see there. And let's take out the 6.0 because we'll compare it again to my clover. Okay. So here's the 6.0 hook. We'll take out my clover. And again, my clover hook is shorter, interesting. The metal part of this hook is longer. And I would say the taper, again, this is a tapered hook, it's not inline. I think I only bought one set of inline hooks because I'm not usually somebody who uses inline hooks. And if you don't know the difference, the tapered hook, an inline hook, if I go like this, the top of this part of the hook will be in line with the hook. But the tapered, it's tapered and uh, this part will be lower than the hook. So, and it, clover is also tapered. It's not in line. 
Okay. So back to this. So the clover is super smooth. Um, this hook is not as smooth. The, not only is this smooth, it has slip. I don't know how to explain it, but if you would feel it, you would know. This one does not have the slip on my fingers. And I feel some roughness on the back back here. It's like flat and it has an edge. So we'll see how that works on my stitch. As far as the handle goes, the clover has the flat part on the front and they round it on the back. Remember, if you got two flat sides on your clover, you probably got an imitation set. Um, this has the flat side on both sides. And as far as the handle length goes, oh, they're pretty similar. And the size is molded in to the hook there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's right there. So I would think that wouldn't wear off as easily. All right, so let's get the 4.5 hook and I'm gonna start crocheting. There's the 4.5. I feel like those videos, don't try this at home. Don't switch your hooks in the middle of a project. Okay, no, definitely not the slip and it's splitting my yarn so easily. Yeah. <laughs> No, hate them. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Do not like these at all. Oh my goodness. My project would take me forever. Nah, nah. I can't, I can't even keep going with that. Nope. <laughs> Konit's a no for me. I don't know if any of you have had better experience, but I actually like that first set better than I like the Konit. Okay. Put those over there. Moving on to our next set, which is going to be the pony. So this set was recommended by one of our viewers, Stacy Hortner. I don't know if you remember, she had that amazing felted dog in our show and tell episode. I think it was episode two, I'm not sure. Anyway, she said she liked the pony hooks. These got a 4.5 uh, star rating out of 23 ratings so it didn't have nearly as many ratings and these are plastic hooks and I if I remember correctly she liked the length of the hook so let's take a look at that I'm going to take these out and these come with one two three four five six seven eight nine hooks and nothing else no extras in the package and they're packaged in a box. And they're $17.99. I don't know if I said that. $17.99 for nine hooks. Okay. All right, so here we go. Here's our hooks. And they range from sizes two to six millimeters. Okay, so if we look at, let's get the six millimeter because we want to compare it to the clover. Okay, so here's the six millimeter and I'm going to hold that next to my clover and clearly the hook is much longer. Uh, longer hook can be great if you're doing stitches like a cluster stitch or a bobble stitch where you have to keep a lot of stitches on your hook. A longer hook can definitely be helpful for that. And yes, this hook is definitely longer. I can see that. It's a plastic hook versus the metal. So it's very smooth, but still not the slip that the clover has on my fingers. We'll see how it works up. Nice pointy top, I'm loving that. I love the pointy top. I actually think this top is pointier than my clover. That's interesting. The um, size is stamped on the bottom, so I do not know if that wears off easily. Uh, Stacy, if you're watching this, if you can let me know in the comments if you've noticed the size wearing off, that would be great. Okay, let's look at the length of the handle. The handle itself is shorter. So while the hook is longer, the handle is shorter, 
and it looks cylindrical with just a narrowed part in the center and it has this ribbing on it. So let's see how it crochets up. In my hand, I'm liking, I like a hook that, you know, just rests in my hand nicely. I didn't like it when it extended beyond, so that seems nice. I'm bleeding a little bit from the staple from that last set. <laughs> okay, Conant is a no-no for me. All right, so let's get the 4.5 here, and I'm gonna use it. Okay, so here's the 4.5 hook. All right, so let's crochet with this. Uh, let's see here. That's a nice slip. Um, I don't think as nice as my clover. I do like the longer hook. I feel like if I were gonna do one of those stitches where I uh, need a lot of stitches on my hook, it would be easier. It rests in my hand nicely. Now, of course, these are my initial impressions. I, I won't know for sure until I use them for a while, but I like it. I like it. Slips nicely. Um, I don't see any real issues with it. It's not splitting my yarn. Uh, yeah, it feels pretty good. Yeah, I like that. I, I can definitely use these. Um, so what I'm gonna do also as I go forward is I'm gonna use a hook for a week on whatever projects I'm working on. I'm gonna use that style hook and then I will do flash reviews on each of these sets. These are my initial impressions, but again, you don't know as far as does your hand get tired? Does it rub on your hand in a specific spot? Do things wear off? You don't know until you really start to use it. So, um, but so far initial impression, I like the ponies. Thank you for that recommendation, Stacy. And I'm surprised it's a uh, plastic hook, but I like the plastic. All right. I have to try to keep these all organized so I can put them away. Okay, so the next set is the Be Crafty set, and this set was $18.99. It got 4.8 stars on Amazon with 8,005 ratings. So that's a lot of people rating this one, and it's probably because it's mid-range price and you get a lot of stuff in it. So let's take a look. Cute little case, right? Okay. Wow, <laughs> a lot of stuff in here, let's take this out. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hooks, ranging from 2.25 millimeter to 6.0 millimeter. You get a ruler in here, and then you get this little pouch that snaps out. How cute is this? Let's see, let's see if we can, well. <laughs> It looks like it snaps out, but I'm afraid I'm gonna rip it. There we go, there we go. Okay, so let's see what we got in our little pouch here. We got some cable hooks. There we go. Use those for knitting. Uh, we got some plastic yarn needles. They're fine, I don't love plastic, I like metal better. Got one, two, three, four, five, six plastic yarn needles. We got a pair of scissors that uh, fold up nicely. Ah, there we go. Oh, nice. Okay. Put those away. And we got stitch markers, probably about 10 or so it looks again. A tape measure and a stitch counter. So that's a lot of stuff, huh? All right, now let's get to the important part, the hook. So I'm gonna compare again the 6.0 hook with my Clover 6.0. First off, the handle feels a little sticky. <laughs> I, 
I don't know why, but it does. I don't think it's that hand. Let me switch hands. No, it's the handle. Handle stickier than my clover. All right. Uh, as far as the hook goes, look pretty much the same size. It's also a tapered hook. Let's look at the top there. Uh, pretty close to the clover, I would say. Maybe a little narrower, pretty close. As far as the point goes, uh, clever slightly pointier. Let me feel the, so the clover has such great slip. Okay, I feel mm, a little bit of roughness on the back of this here. Oh, you can even see it. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there's roughness there, definitely. Um, yeah, doesn't have the same slip, but let's try. Let's get the 4.5 out and see how that works. Okay, here's the 4.5. Oh, and the sizes are stamped on again. So interesting, actually. Wait a second. They're stamped and molded. All right, so that's good. Even if your stamp wears off, your mold on the other side should not. So that's good. Okay. So let's give this a shot here. See how this goes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh, I'm pushing my... I am pushing my hook through. Wait. All right. <laughs> I'm having a little difficulty here. All right, let's try this again. I'm going to do it slowly. Yeah, so when I, right there, when I slide that right there, mm -mm, there's not a lot of slip there. I can definitely feel the difference. I, I might be picky. I like to fly in my crocheting because, let's face it, I have a lot of crocheting to do, <laughs> but uh, I'm pushing my hook. So when I get here, there, yeah, mm. nah, this wouldn't be a keeper for me. Uh, again, you could use it as a travel set if you like, but I get, I get frustrated if I can't move at the pace I want to move, and I feel like this would slow me down. So um, I actually think I want to go back to that very first set that I did for $9.89. I actually think this had better slip. Let me try. Yeah, this one has better slip. I'll tell you what, you don't get all the extras. You get the three needles and the... Uh, 10 stitch markers, but for $9.89, half the price of the Be Crafty, better slip. I would definitely recommend this set over that. Definitely, as far as slip goes, no question. $9.89. So far those and the ponies. Ponies are more expensive. Ponies are better than these. Um, let me just take out the pony. Compare it. Yeah, Pony has good slip. It's not, there's a little bit of a squeak, I think, because it's plastic. Okay, so that did not go in as easily into the stitch as I thought it would. Let me turn. Compare the pony again. Yeah, pony has good slip. Um, you do feel a little bit of a squeakiness with the plastic. I don't know if that's plastic or what, but you still get good slip, so I'm uh, happy with the ponies too. All right.
Cone it out for me. Be crafty also out for me, even though you get a lot of stuff. Okay. The next set is Prim. I've heard a lot about Prim. I've been wanting to try the Prim. These are some pretty hooks, aren't they? You get in the Prim set for $28.99, it had 4.6 stars with 1,191 ratings. It's plastic, you get five hooks for that price for $28.99. So let's see how these look. Gonna, you don't get any extras, you just get the hooks. These are made in Germany, I believe. But I've heard a lot of good things about them, so I've been wanting to try them. So let's compare, they're plastic again, and you can see they're in line. Okay. Has, so if you look at the clover, an inline hook will have a deeper throat, it just goes off, because the rest of this is in line. And I typically have problems with in line. I'm gonna tell you that before I start crocheting with this so we see what happens because I get caught up in that deep throat. Um, some teachers say though, you'll get a much more consistent stitch because you don't have that taper. So, um, you know, it's, it's a matter of preference. Okay, so as far as the hook length, oh, whoa, <laughs> no comparison, right? Let's compare it to the pony for the six. I just wanna see. Here's my six pony. Okay. Yeah. It's even longer than the pony. Nice and long, that's for sure. Okay. Again, feeling the, hmm? Feels very smooth. I feel something right there. I don't know that if you can see anything. I feel a little bit of something there, but we'll see how it works when I'm using it. As far as the handle goes, it just gets wider and narrower. Has a nice feel to it. I wonder how that'll feel when I hold it. And the handle length is also long. So this is a pretty long hook. It's a pretty long hook. It's gonna extend out past my hand. These are pretty though, aren't they? Let's see where the size is. Oh, the size is nicely molded in there. That's beautiful. I don't see that coming undone. All right, so let's get the 4.5. Okay. And these come in sizes uh, 3.5 millimeter to 6. So you have a 3.5, a 4.0, a 4.5, a 5.0, and a 6. So here's the 4.5. And we're going to see how this does. For me. Wow, it's a long hook. I'm so not used to such a long hook. So if you like a long hook. This flies. It's beautiful. Beautiful like butter. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is really nice. It's not catching anything. It's not splitting. It has great slip. Yeah, look at that. That's really nice. Okay, I like these. These are definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper. They just slip very nicely. So I did feel that rough spot on the back, whatever that was. It is not affecting my crocheting whatsoever. I do get caught up with the inline. You see that a couple of times with the throat. That's a me problem, I guess. I don't know, with inlines. But definitely the slip is there. Um, yeah, I'm liking that. I want to keep crocheting with it, as you see. Okay, Bram, put down the hook. Let's go.
All right, so definitely a keeper. Love, love, love these, and look how pretty they are. You don't get any extras. You only get five hooks for $28.99, so that's something to consider, but I, I would definitely enjoy crocheting with those. And they're inlines, which takes me totally by surprise. I don't particularly like inline hooks. All right, the very last set. I've been dying to try these. Look at this fancy little case. This is the Tulip Etimo, and it got 4.8 stars out of 1,163 ratings, and it was $58.65. So definitely pricey. Let's open it up and take a look. This case is beautiful, first of all. I, you can't feel it, but it's nice and thick. It has a little bit of sparkle in there, you see that? Okay, but we're not here for the case. <laughs> okay, so we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hooks, ranging from 3.25 to six millimeter, a pair of scissors, those look like some nice scissors too. Okay, and as far as extras go, you get this little ruler. It's like a nothing ruler. It's short and flimsy, I, I you know. And then two metal uh, yarn needles in a cute little case. So those are the extras you get with it. Okay, so let's take a look at the size six hook and we'll compare it to my clover again. Okay, so hook length is longer than my clover. Same slip, it's got nice slip, yep. Same slip, interesting. Let's turn it on its side, let's look at the point. They both seem to have nice points. They're both tapered hooks, and they. this one looks a little bit wider to me. I don't know if it's the way the light is shining on it. It's interesting. And as far as the handles go, about the same size and about the same feel. Flat in the front. This one has a little bump up top. This one does not. Backs are rounded. Both have a nice feel. The interesting thing is the size is on a sticker. I do not know if the sticker comes off or if it wears off, and it seems to me for a $58 set, they could mold it in. I don't know. If anybody uses these, let me know if your sticker has come off or if it's worn off. And yet they have the name and Japan molded on the back. Okay, you know, I, it'd be nice if they molded the size, but. All right, now let's see how it crochets. I like the way it fits in my hand. I like a hook that just fits in my hand like that. So let's see how this goes. Oh, whoa, going with the wrong size here. Let's go to the 4.5, glad I caught that. This is why you don't switch hooks <laughs> in the middle of a project. And I saw that there was also a pink and silver set, which is an expensive set of the tulip, more expensive set. I'm not really sure what the difference is. Um, some people have said that it's even smoother, but this is very smooth, so I don't know that you would need to spend the extra money on more smoothness. I don't know though, I haven't tried it. Maybe I should try that next. Yeah, this is, this is beautiful. Um, this is totally up there with my clovers and also around the same price as my clover. Sometimes you get clovers for less, but you gotta make sure you don't get the counterfeit uh, clovers. Well, how much are the clovers? Okay, so I just checked Amazon and I can get 10 clover hooks for $52. So the 
uh, tulip at Timo, I got, what did I say, uh, eight hooks, uh, plus scissors, yarn needle, and that little ruler, and a beautiful case for $58.65. So you don't get a case with that 10 set of clover, and you don't get the scissors and the needles and the ruler. Um, so I would say about the same price. Clover may be a little bit less expensive if you're really only interested in the hooks. But I would say these work certainly as well as my clovers. And it does have a longer hook. Um, did I just do a V? But it sits nicely in my hand, loving that. And it slips beautifully, really nice, really, really nice. Okay, so. That is all six sets. Of hooks. Okay, so those were my first impressions for those six sets of hooks. Now what I'm gonna do is weed out the ones that I just absolutely did not like from the start. And with the others, I'm gonna use them for a longer period of time. And then I'll get back to you with a review that's more complete. So uh, the two that I'm ruling out immediately, I'm sure it's no surprise to you, are the Conant, which I uh, cut my finger on the staple opening up. <laughs> Didn't like those at all. And a big disappointment, the Bee Crafty. I love this case. I thought it was so cute. All the things it came with, did not like the hooks. So those two I'm not gonna continue with. The big surprise, to me was this set that I got for seven dollars and change it's selling for 9.89 now uh, had a decent slip my question will be how will I work with this longer handle over time will it rub against my hand and will I have any wrist fatigue that I won't know until I use it a bit more so I will be working with these more The ponies, I really liked the longer hook and it still had a shorter handle, which I like. Um, and it felt comfortable at first. So uh, I don't think the slip was quite as good as my clovers, uh, but I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna work with it for a little bit and see how that goes. The prims. I'm not an inline hook girl, but I really like these. The slip was beautiful. Um, and I really like the feel of the handle. So it is, if you want a longer hook, this is the one to try, I would say. This had the longest hook um, and it had a pretty long handle. It's a pretty long crochet hook in general. So I'll see how that works over time. Felt nice to start, but we'll see how it works over time. And then finally, the expensive set, the Tulip Etimo, or Etimo, I don't know how to say it. Um, slip was beautiful, handle nice and small, fits right in my hand, and I felt like I could fly with this. I'm definitely gonna try using this, and I'm gonna compare it to my Clover and see if there's a big difference, if I notice a big difference between the two. Um, I could definitely see myself using these, but they are more expensive. Uh, as I said, I looked up the clovers and you can get 10 hooks for $52. With this, you got eight hooks for $58 and change. You did get scissors, a little ruler, and two yarn needles with this, and a beautiful case, which you do not get with the clover hooks. So, um... I'm gonna say this is probably in the clover category and you are spending more for it. Uh, but I will use these for an extended period of time and let you know what I think of them. Now, if you've used any of these hooks or other hooks that you think other people might enjoy, please leave a comment below. I'm always looking for new and better crochet tools. Uh, and if you've used any of these and you know something about them after using them for a period of time that I didn't catch on to, or if you disagree with something I said, please let us know below. Okay, so I hope you had fun and found this helpful. As always, thank you for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon.